David built houses for himself in the city of David, and he prepared a place for the ark of God and pitched a tent for it. Then David said, No one may carry the ark of God but the Levites, for the Lord has chosen them to carry the ark of God and to minister before him forever. And David gathered all Israel together at Jerusalem to bring up the ark of the Lord to its place, which he had prepared for it. Then David assembled the children of Aaron and the Levites, of the sons of Kohath, Uriel the chief, and one hundred and twenty of his brethren, of the sons of Merari, Isaiah the chief, and two hundred and twenty of his brethren, of the sons of Gershom, Joel the chief, and one hundred and thirty of his brethren, of the sons of Elizaphon, Shimea the chief, and two hundred of his brethren, of the sons of Hebron, Eliel the chief, and eighty of his brethren, of the sons of Aziel, Aminadab the chief, and one hundred and twelve of his brethren. And David called for Zadok and Abiathar the priests, and for the Levites, for Uriel, Isaiah, Joel, Shimea, Eliel, and Aminadab. You are the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites. Sanctify yourselves, you and your brethren, that you may bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel to the place I have prepared for it. For because you did not do it the first time, the Lord our God broke out against us because we did not consult him about the proper order. So the priests and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel. And the children of the Levites bore the ark of God on their shoulders by its poles, as Moses had commanded according to the word of the Lord. Then David spoke to the leaders of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers, accompanied by instruments of music, stringed instruments, harps and cymbals, by raising the voice with resounding joy. So the Levites appointed Heman, the son of Joel, and of his brethren, Asaph, the son of Berechiah, and of their brethren, the sons of Merari, Ethan, the son of Cushiah, and with them, their brethren of the second rank, Zechariah, Ben, Jeaziel, Shemiramath, Jehiel, Anai, Eliab, Benaiah, Maaseah, Mattathiah, Eliphile, Michniah, Obed-Edom, and Jeiel, the gatekeepers. The singers, Heman, Asaph, and Ethan, were to sound the symbols of bronze. Zechariah, Aziel, Shemiramath, Jehiel, Anai, Eliab, Maaseah, and Beniah with strings, according to Alamath, Mattathiah, Eliphale, Mekniah, Obed-Edom, Jeiel, and Azaziah, to direct with harps on the Shemanith. Kenaniah, leader of the Levites, was instructor in charge of the music, because he was skillful. Berechiah and Elkanah were doorkeepers for the ark. Shebaniah, Jashaphat, Nithanel, Amasiah, Zechariah, Beniah, and Eliezer, the priests, were to blow the trumpets before the ark of God, and Obed-Edom and Jehiah, doorkeepers for the ark. So David, the elders of Israel, and the captains over thousands went to bring up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord from the house of Obed-Edom with joy. And so it was, when God helped the Levites who bore the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, that they offered seven bulls and seven rams. David was clothed with a robe of fine linen, as were all the Levites who bore the Ark, the singers, and Kenaniah the music master with the singers. David also wore a linen ephod. 
Thus all Israel brought up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the horn, with trumpets and with cymbals, making music with stringed instruments and harps. And it happened, as the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord came to the city of David, that Michael, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David whirling and playing music, and she despised him in her heart.